Alexis McAllister agrees personal terms with Liverpool and there is big, big hope that the deal will be completed very soon after the end of the Premier League season. There's also talk of a double swoop. Mason Mount still very much on the agenda, massively on the agenda for Chelsea this summer. We're also taking a look at Arsenal and their pursuit of Caicedo. It is now stated they are ahead of Chelsea in the race and want him and Declan Rice. We're also looking at City that could be adding to their already world-class ranks with a move for Kimmich, who reportedly wants out of Bayern Munich. And Fabrizio confirms that Man United have spoken directly to Kim Min Jae. All of that and a little bit more. Smash the like and the share button. Download the One Football app as well. The best. It's the only one I use for all my football news, live scores, updates, statistics, and much more. S download it now. Let's do this. Let's go. It has been an exhilarating season. The summer is going to be a madness. Arsenal want to close that, close things down with close up on Man City. Man City want to improve. Man United want to be in the title race. Liverpool want to get back to competing with City. All that and much more. First big story circles around this. We know Arsenal are the front runners for Declan Rice. Personal terms reportedly been agreed. The mainstream media have been telling us it's been agreed since January time or no problem or um, agreed in principle, whichever descriptive you want to use. Now here, according to this report on One Football, go and check it out on the app now. It says Arsenal are reportedly set to return to Brighton in an attempt to sign Moises Caicedo again, despite their much publicized interest in Decton Rice. The Gunners are keen to add the Ecuadorian to their squad this summer. Um, but don't know yet whether Brighton will sell. It has been reported that Chelsea are the Premier League frontrunners, but our sources, and when I say our sources, I'm reading the story, I'm not stating that, have claimed that Arsenal are now in pole position in the race between the two clubs because of their return to the UEFA Champions League. Now, for me, it remains to be seen as to whether Arsenal can get both of these players. Let me rephrase that. It remains to be seen whether Arsenal will invest the money to sign both of these players because they certainly have the ability to do it. They certainly have the name, the heritage, the Champions League football. Don't let the mini collapse at the end of this season for you. Arsenal was a feel-good factor. Arsenal should sign top players this summer, pay them the big wages and go on to another level next year. And with a reported exodus of Deadwood and players that want to leave, the Xhaka's, Kieran Tierney's, I'm not calling them all dead wood. It's a combination of the two, plus the Lakongas of this world and everybody else. There is going to be wages freed up, space in the squad made available. And with that Champions League money, which you may argue is unexpected, they weren't predicted Arsenal to get into the top four this year. With that additional 70, 80 million pounds of being in that tournament, Arsenal looks set to go bid big, according to the mainstream media. But I want to get your take on that. Do you think they'll get either of Rice or Caicedo, and what do you believe the possibility is? What is the percentage chance, in your opinion, of them signing both? I want a percentage in the comment section right now below my people. Now, this is an interesting story. Fabrizio Romano uh, stated just the other day that personal terms were almost agree between Liverpool and McAllister. Reports now out on one football claim that the deal with the player is done. Still work to be done around £70 million pounds with, Bright uh, with Brighton. £70 million pound for him. Plus, it is now claimed that Liverpool could complete a very early double swoop in the, tra in the transfer market. McAllister in £70 million pound early across the line, giving both them and like them, them time to go and do a little bit more. And of course, giving Brighton that little bit sort of that, that little bit more time to find a replacement. Also, they're looking at Mason Mount. That story will not go away. Hasn't signed the new deal. Doesn't want to sign a new deal. 
as it stands right now at Chelsea, the Liverpool could be set to pounce. Jurgen Klopp is a big fan. Jurgen Klopp is willing right now, and they're talking around 45 to 50 million pound bid going in for Mason Mount. Now, with those two players coming in, with Curtis Jones going to another level recently and Trent playing in that inverted role, is that enough, Liverpool fans? I want to know whether you're happy with those two signings. And if not, what more do you need? Whether it's an individual player or a profile of player, a position, let us know in the comments section now. But Alexis McAllister, some are saying almost agreed. Some reports on one football today. Go and download the app to check it out. Are saying he has agreed terms. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on that one. Now, Manchester United have long been linked to Kim Min Jae. Some reports coming from Napoli directly right out of the local hub. Next, connected, heavily connected and verified to the club, have stated the player is United bound. The player will be become a United, United player this summer. You have had the likes of Chris Wheatley state that he is United bound and that Napoli have already found a replacement and that deal could happen very quickly. Man United unlikely to bid until the 1st of July because between the 1st and the 15th, there is a buyout clause of £43 million by before or after that point, and you're going to see the, the price increase exponentially on that. But Fabrizio Romano has confirmed, and I read here, that Man United have entered discussions with Napoli surrounding the signing of Kim. It says Kim only arrived at Napoli last summer, but has already caught the eye of Europe's biggest clubs. Uh, Ten Hag's side um, are keen on signing the centre-back when the window opens. Now, this kind of uh, what Fabrizio Romano has gone on to say, they spoke to Kim about the potential idea um, uh, to um, to be together next season, uh, but it's not something that is completed. Now, I, I, I want to reiterate that both the camp and for Brits, it's not completed yet. And there's been no claims that it is a completed deal. There was just a feeling coming out of Napoli that it will happen. He's agreed in principle and they believe it to be a fairly a formality at this moment in time. Uh, Napoli is still working on a new deal because they made an important uh, proposal to Kim. Um, it says here, um, and to change the release clause by putting it higher in order to change the situation around the Korean centre-back. So that is still what Napoli are trying to do. So Man United are entering talks, and this is where there may be a happy medium. There may be a happy medium here. Man United has been reported earlier on uh, this year that they may bid a little bit higher than the buyout clause, maybe 15 million higher, up to about 15 million higher. To kind of say to Napoli, look, accept now so we can move on with the player. Let's not drag this out into the 1st of July. We've got other fish to fry in terms of the transfer window. There's a bit of extra money for you. Not as much as you might get if you give him a new big bumper deal and new buyout clause. But maybe let's just work on that. So we'll see what happens there. But Fabrizio confirming conversations have taken place, not just between the player and Man United, but the two clubs as well. Not complete yet, but things do feel like they are advancing. And I also want to look at here at this story. That This story scared me. This story legitimately scared me today. Kimmich to City. Now, it's now being widely reported that Kimmich wants to leave Bayern Munich. Barcelona see him as their number one target. They are desperate to bring him in as the long-term replacement of Busquets, who leaves the club this summer. There was a Man United fan. I want to hear this. Listen, they signed Kimmich. That means they've broken their promise to De Jong, which was you were the long-term successor in that holding role when Busquets leaves. That gives Man United an angle to go back in and say, look, we knocked you out the Europa League. We're going to improve massively this summer. We're going to buy better players. We're back in the Champions League. How about you make that move now? Doesn't mean it will happen, but it gives United a new in. Listen, Pedri, Gavi, they're the future on, 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 on the left and right-hand side of the midfield. They're going to go and sign Kimmich. On a big deal. They've told him he's the replacement for Busquets. Where do you fit in with all this? We want you to be the main guy. That's how you sell it. Hard deal to do. The player still wants to be at Barcelona. But there's a chance. But this news that City want to come in for Kimmich, coupled with reports coming out of Germany that the player isn't too keen on Barcelona. It hasn't said he's interested personally in City, but he's not too keen on Barca. And Munich want Cancelo, but can't afford to do the deal. So swap deals are rare in football. But there could be the possibility here 
that Man City say, look, let's look at the value of Kimmich, the value of Cancelo, how bad we both want him, and come to an agreement. Who knows who comes out? Personally, I think Kimmich's worth more money than Cancelo. But listen, that, 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 that's down to them to negotiate. This could be a deal. Imagine adding Kimmich to this Man City team and system. Scary, scary times. Scary times. Quality, ability, multiple positions, levels. Honestly, I'm not joking. I'm not joking to you. On a Gary Neville, on a Gary Neville, this is a scary, scary signing. And Gary Neville means levels. Cockney Ryan means slang. On a Gary, on a level, this is a scary ass signing. There's no doubt about it. I want to know what you think and feel about it. I'm almost speechless at the thought. I'm sitting here literally thinking about him at City. Pain. Pain. <laughs> Everyone's got a lot of work to do to catch them. Listen, I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on these big transfer rumours as we come to the close of the Premier League season, a week away from it ending. Clubs now working tirelessly behind the scenes to line up their signings and move things forward. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you feel in the comment section below. Hit the like button before you leave as well. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.